Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you on how to create your customized wall moldings such as baseboards and cornices using Revit Tools Wall Sweep. To create Wall Sweep, just go to Architect tab. Under Wall Tool, click the flyout and select Wall Sweep. Now you have to remember that Wall Sweep is a system family that is wall hosted. Okay, you cannot create one without attaching it to a wall. Okay, now as you can see here, the preview of my wall sweep. But before you select, you have two options here. You can either use horizontal or vertical. Okay, as you can see, I'm gonna use horizontal now. It is also a face hosted family, so you have two options here. You can either pick on this side or on the interior side of your wall here. Okay, I'm gonna use or apply it to the exterior side. Click now. If you want to continue, move to the other side, select. Okay, now if you want to go around, as you can see here. Currently, my view is obscured to that side, so I just need to orbit around and pick. Okay, do the same thing, 3D orbit, and select on the other side. To terminate the command, just click on an empty space or press escape. Okay. I currently applied it on the exterior side. If you want to apply it on the interior face of your wall, just do the same thing. But this time, just select on the interior face. Select, click, orbit, click again, orbit, and click. Press escape. Now, wall sweep is a singular entity if you will continuously generate on the wall that we have here. Okay, as you can see. Now, if you want to change the height of your wall sweep from your current level or reference level, you can either change it on your temporary dimension or change it here on your properties. apply another method is you can use the move tool when you select you can actually use the move or you can use even the align command here okay so here I'll just simply use align I want it to be exactly on the top or in the edge of my wall and then pick press escape now as you can see here we only have this one type of wall sweep you can also see that on your type selector so in order for you to change or to create a new type remember this is a system family usually system families are created inside the project so in order for you to do that you just go here on the type selector click edit type and then you usually duplicate but before you duplicate you have to consider first here the design of your wall sweep okay it is usually based on your profile so whatever the shape of your profile that will be the same shape that the wall sweep will follow okay so currently i'm using here default now, if you want to generate or create a customized one, you need to make a new profile family, which you will host to this system family wall sweep. Okay, so I'll just click OK first. To do that, you need to create a new family. So, you have to go and select new family. And on your templates, 
Okay, I'm gonna use metric for this one and look for metric profile. So it's okay whether you're using an English or Imperial. For me, I'm gonna use this one, a metric family template. So you need to look for metric profile hosted family. Okay, as your template. Click open. So for this template, you can see here the insertion point. So this is the uh, origin point when you select that particular face on your wall. So that will be the starting point. Okay, so if you model or you create your profile here and then you pick a point of your wall, so it will be referenced at the bottom. But if you model or create your profile here on this side, below the insertion point, so your origin will be at the top okay now we're just going to sketch a shape here using a line tool okay so just click yes start by creating lines here let's make a simple one okay so let's say I intended to create one for a baseboard, so I'll just simply sketch a simple one here. Click. And there. Now, you have to remember the rules in sketching a profile. It should be in an enclosed loop. Okay? and no overlapping lines because once you have an error or an issue like duplicate on the same face or it intersects like this your wall sweep will not be generated so you map you have to make sure that it's just one enclosed loop okay so i'm just gonna trim this one like so Okay, so make sure this is just continuous. Okay, so don't forget to save your family in order for you to determine the name or the type that you are using. Family, let's say I'm just going to save it on my desktop and then save this one as, let's say, baseboard. Save. Probably I'll just adjust it a bit. Okay. And take note if you have an exact value or dimension, you can also apply that. Okay. So once you have finished this, just simply load into project. Okay. Let's go to 3D view to see and apply it. Now, you only loaded that family on your project, but in order for you to apply that, you have to create a new wall suite. Just select, again, this is a system family. To create a new type, select edit type, and don't forget to duplicate, okay? Duplication is important, so it will not override other similar cornices on your project. It will be, it will only affect the one that you selected. So duplicate, let's say I'm going to type here, baseboard, and click OK. Now under profile, select here the one that you have generated. Okay. Click OK. Okay, then I'm just going to put the value here to zero. Change my graphic style. Shape it. Now, you can also apply this to your cornice or just make any shape that you want. Okay, just make sure that your profile is correctly done. Remember the rules. No overlapping lines. No intersecting lines. 
it should be one enclosed continuous loop. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel for more rapid tutorials.